2012, Nation Media's Monitor Publication has organized the Seeds of Gold Farm Clinic. This has been done to empower farmers with new skills in farming and use of technology away from rudimentary methods. This May, the ninth edition of the Seeds of Gold Farm Clinic was held at Naro Mbazadi Mbarara where hundreds of farmers from Barara and others from as far as Soroti gathered to learn from experienced facilitators in the different farm enterprises. Coming up on Seeds of Gold. Previously, we were just grazing cattle on this, this grass. But when we came here, we were exposed to how to make food for the animals. Seeds of Gold Farm Clinic is an initiative by the Monitor Publication and supported by NTV. This has been done to help farmers acquire more practical knowledge on farming methods and technologies to help boost productivity of their farm yields. Why the Monitor decided to go the route of the Seeds of Gold Farm Clinic was because as being part of the Nation Media Group, which is the leading media house in East and Central Africa. One of our mandate is to be the content provider of choice and we provide this through the Seeds of Gold magazine but also through the Seeds of Gold program on NTV at, on Saturday at 7.30 p.m. We did some research and found that our farmers or our readers wanted more practical knowledge on practicing agriculture and they asked us to extend the program from beyond the newspapers and the programming into a more practical session where they get to learn from different experts and different expatriates in different areas. So that's what busts the Seeds of Gold Farm Clinic. This is the ninth edition here in Barra, uh, but this is the second edition in Barra, but the ninth edition in total for carrying out the, the Seeds of Gold Farm Clinic. Over the eight editions, Seeds of Gold Farm Clinic has partnered with Katende Harambe Farm, Buwanuka Green Farm, Kabanyoro, Nasari, and Mbazadi. Throughout these editions, farmers have been given knowledge on proper farming methods in projects like piggery, poultry, dairy farming, passion fruit growing, cassava, sorghum, bananas, sunflower, oranges, mangoes, maize, and others. In Barra today we are looking at uh, various aspects that affect various enterprises that people in Barra focus on, that is dairy, banana, uh, we have cassava, we have beans, we have maize, we have passion fruit and uh, we're also doing some fish farming and a bit of poultry here in Barra today. And mainly our theme for this year is climate smart farming because of the different adversities that uh, farmers have faced that are caused due to climate change. So there are improved technologies that NARO has come up with, even when it comes to varieties of crops that farmers can actually plant, whether in a dry or wet season, and they're able to yield uh, produce, but not just for uh, consumption, but also for agribusiness, and they're able to make money from their produce. With more support from stakeholder partners such as ABI, Haifa International, Agricultural Credit Facility of Bank of Uganda, and many others, Seeds of Gold Farm Clinic is giving farmers an opportunity not only to increase productivity of their farm yields, but also realize an increase in their incomes and daily way of living. Previously, we were just grazing cattle on this, this grass. But when we came here, we were exposed to how to make food for the animals. Now we started from our own experiences, not buying, but maybe looking at husks and other small things. And these things have made a difference in terms of milk yield. We have not taken trouble to, to calculate, but at least in terms of quantity, we can see some increase in quantity. But I think from here we shall now take trouble to calculate and see the productivity of each animal 
that is being fed by additional feeding. In a way to support farmers around the country, Bank of Uganda has also come up to give credit facilities to farmers at a reasonable interest rate of 12%. Through the bank's agricultural credit facility, farmers can access this loan through their banks for any enterprise of their choice. We started this scheme in partnership with the government of Uganda and other financial institutions. And the key objective of the agricultural credit facility is to facilitate the provision of medium to long-term loans to the agriculture sector and agro-processing at more favorable terms than are usually available on the market with a financial institution. We partnered with our seats of code because we basically have the same objective. Our key objective, as you've heard, is to commercialize agriculture, modernize agriculture, and of course improve uh, food security and house, household income. We like Seeds of Gold because they promote agriculture and agro-processing. Seeds of Gold uh, promote a farmer. The pullout that comes out uh, every week, every weekend, is a very good one. It has a lot of guidance to the farmers, and especially the fact that we provide loans to the agriculture sector, given the inherent risks associated with the agriculture sector, you need the farmers who are educated, who know what to do. We need financial literacy, which the seeds of God provide. From the agriculture credit facility, farmers are insured of more benefits that will go beyond just a loan. This is vital information for farmers. The agricultural credit facility of Bank of Uganda gives more favorable terms than available on the market. What are these favorable terms? One, we are in partnership with a financial institution. All the financial institutions supervised and regulated by the Bank of Uganda plus the Uganda Development Bank. A farmer or a grow processor can go to any of these institutions and get a loan at more favorable terms. And these terms include one, most of our banks give loans short-term loan for projects that are long-term in nature. For the facility, the SCF, in short, we give loans, long-term loans, up to eight years. See, we are mindful of the grace period required, and we have up to a maximum of three years, depending on the project the farmer is undertaking. Another advantage is that the interest rate the interest rate is up to a maximum of 12% per annum, which is much lower than what is available in the market. And it is fixed throughout the loan period, in most cases on the reducing balance basis. The charges, you know, when you go to borrow there, these charges that the banks charge, we also give, we ensure that the charges do not exceed 0.5% of the total loan amount. So there is a portion for the working capital, there is a portion for the long-term loans, there is a portion for the machinery and equipment, anything along the agricultural value chain. Farm Clinic has empowered farmers from around the country with farming skills and knowledge about their individual farm enterprises. For the hundreds that attended the ninth edition at Mbazadi in Barara, knowledge is given in regard to the enterprises that are partnered to this region, such as dairy farming, bananas, passion fruit farming, fish farming, and others. My expectations from the farmers is to learn. 
We simply provide the platform, we simply provide the engagement for them to learn, we work with NARU to make that happen. My urge to them is to learn and to implement. What we would like to urge them is to pick all the necessary information, but also consult, come back and consult Mbazadi, come back and consult the different NARU centers that we're working with, and make sure that you move from one level to the next. We've had quite a number of testimonies today of farmers who came last year when we were in Barra and were able to improve. Uh, there's somebody who spoke about their improvement in dairy and milk production where they only used to feed, used to do zero grazing and their animals would only eat grass and they tried to introduce husks and all these other new technologies and they've improved or increased their milk production. So our urge is that they learn and implement and be able to take agriculture to the next level but also make their pockets um, heavier. As facilitators and exhibitors at the Seeds of Gold Farm Clinic for the ninth edition, Haifa International gives farmers advice on the use and benefits of biogas, a natural component from animal waste. This too, in addition to yogurt and cheese, is a form of value addition from the dairy produce. Then also, of course, the, the Haifa implements projects traditionally. But we give farmers some input that they don't have, usually a form of lifestyle. But there's a lot of knowledge, information and skills. And they turn around. And then, you had me talking about biogas today. I like biogas. Because it, it improves the, the benefits that a farmer gets. You know, how to, uh, you don't only get milk, you also begin getting energy from the cow. We know the energy from the cow, which you know traditionally, either when the cow is pulling a cart, or when it's plowing, but now this is energy in form of a gas. You put a, a, the cow dung and urine in a special receptacle underground. And then the, the microorganisms which are in the dung break down the material to generate a lot of gases. Some of them are flammable, methane. Use that for lighting and cooking. And by doing that, you, you reduce pressure on the environment. Because so you don't need firewood anymore. You don't need charcoal. So you, you reduce pressure on the environment. The environment is conserved. Still, in dairy production, farmers are given knowledge on the modern methods of dealing with ticks on the farm for healthy animals and increase in milk production. So we, we, want, we, we, partner, we are a partner with the monitor, monitor for this kind of clinic. Because I think it's not every day that you get a, 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 a for-profit organization deciding to benefit everybody. It's, not, it's, it's very unusual. You know, even, even as getting money to work, you have to write a proposal and explain very many things. It's not, it's not even that you get somebody who, whose company is set up to make profit, willing to commit time and some of his money to, 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 to give free information. We wanted to work with them. And also secondly, so because they showed a good heart, we wanted to, to join them, you know, because we have been doing this all the time. And yet, like I was sharing also, we have very good technology, which we want everybody to know. What are the benefits from the monitor, which has got very wide coverage. John Bosco Muhumuza, a passion fruit facilitator, gives farmers advice on the use of proper fertilizers and how they are useful in boosting farm yields when adequately administered. Um, yes, uh, it is important to boost uh, uh, um, growth rates for the plants. One, the plants need water and the plants need nutrients. The nutrients have to be dissolved within the water, so they must take up um, a, a water solution, nutrients in a solution form. So the farmer should ensure that they conserve soil moisture and also be able to enhance the soil fertility uh, within their garden. So with maintaining soil moisture, farmers at the time of making holes, they should make sure that they prepare their uh, planting holes in such a way that it is able to retain some moisture. Such that when it rains, you don't have a lot of runoff within your garden. So there you can put some water trenches to conserve uh, the runoff, to, to stop the runoff. But also they can put some grass bands. And two, they can do some mulching. Such that when it rains, water can percolate slowly, move down uh, stream slowly instead of just because um, uh, if it doesn't percolate it will you will have runoff 
if water doesn't penetrate, you would have excess water running off and you would have what we call the runoff. So that is on water conservation. So they need also to ensure um, adequate soil nutrients within the soil. At the time of pore preparation, they should at least uh, put manure within the planting hole. So when you dig your hole, separate the topsoil from the subsoil, the soil which is red down. And in your mixing, when you are mixing the organic manure, whether farmyard manure uh, that is from cows or you have uh, goat uh, manure from goats or sheep or rabbits, you are mix it with the topsoil and you place it back. So that the plant at the time of growing, it is having adequate nutrients and it grows vigorously and it is able to uh, almost to defend itself from all surfaces. Yeah, and also delay uh, the, the, the progression of the, uh, some of the diseases within its terrain. Um, and uh, some farmers can also try to use um, foliar fertilizer. We have foliar fertilizer. The advantage of foliar fertilizer is that you may not need uh, to test what is lacking in the soil. Because mm. you may apply on the leaves and the, um, the plant absorbs uh, the nutrients through the leaves. As Nation Media's Monitor publication has made Seeds of Gold Farm Clinic as part of its mandate, it will continue the strategy to empower farmers around the country with knowledge and skills. What next for Seeds of Gold? We have an annual calendar that we are following uh, from Barara in June, June 30th specifically, we'll be in Hoima, Bulindi Zadi, so everybody in that region can be able to come and learn. And then we'll, we'll do the central region, which we do in uh, Kavanyo in August. And then after that, we'll move to Ngetazadi. Ngetazadi is a new inclusion from, from last year. Uh, it's in Lira, it's also an arrow center in Lira. And then we'll end with uh, Nasari, where we were last year in Serere and also look at uh, semi-arid crop um, uh, technologies that farmers can use in, during hot or wet uh, climate. You now have had it. Do not miss out on the next edition of the Seeds of Gold Farm Clinic the next time we come to your area. Don't be left behind. Be empowered for your next future in farming.